UAP or UFO phenomenon isn't modern at all, but a very old phenomenon dating back to the earliest of recorded history. This also includes abductions, where supposedly people would be taken from this world, encounter beings or gods from another realm, and brought back with revelation from another star or sinister tales of a traumatic experience. Though this phenomenon has taken many forms, they are very similar in their nature. While it is reasonable to believe that military operations like Lockheed Martin Skunk Works have super advanced military technology that's top secret, they certainly haven't been around since antiquity. Neither has other intelligence operations like the CIA. Let's take a look at some of the more ancient examples based on myth. Allegedly, most famously, the book of Ezekiel in the Hebrew Bible describes a detailed vision by the prophet Ezekiel, which some interpreters have likened to an encounter with an advanced aerial vehicle or entity. He describes seeing a wheel within a wheel filled with eyes and moving with the direction of living creatures, which could parallel modern descriptions of UAP with complex and inexplicable movements. In classical Greece, in Plato's work Republic, the soldier supposedly died in battle but came back to life, recounting a journey to the afterlife where he was shown the fate of souls. Though more metaphysical than a physical abduction, his experience of being taken to another realm and returned with knowledge parallels some aspects of modern abduction narratives. In the 3rd century records, Roman historian Julius Obsequens was leveraging Livy's earlier works. It has documented sightings of phantom ships seen gleaming in the sky. In Rome to 18 BC, Livy, a Roman historian, documented phantom ships appearing in the sky. Similar sightings throughout ancient times in various locations often describe shields or flying saucers evoking modern descriptions of disc-shaped UAP. Now we'll take a big leap forward in time. In 1561, residents of Nuremberg, Germany, reported seeing objects that included crosses, tubes, spheres, and crescents fighting each other in the sky. This event was documented in a famous woodcut by Hans Glaser. Like modern UAP reports, this event involved the observation of objects and formations in the sky that were beyond the technological understanding of the time. These sightings and experiences are found everywhere. Even the land of the rising sun, an incident in Japan. 1803, alongside many airship sightings, the infamous Utsurobun, which translates to hollow ship, was reportedly washed ashore on the eastern coast of Japan. The craft was described as being of unknown origin, made from metal and other materials not familiar to the local populace, and containing a beautiful young woman who spoke an unknown language. In 1566, similar to the Nuremberg event, the citizens of Basel, Switzerland, witnessed celestial phenomena documented in woodcuts showing black spheres in the sky during a time of sunrise. In the United States, particularly during the 1896 to 1897 period, there were numerous reports of mysterious airships. Witnesses described seeing powered, dirigible-like vessels equipped with searchlights and occasionally occupied by visible pilots. You keep seeing and hearing the phenomenon. Various Native American tribes, including the Hopi and the Zuni, have legends of the sky people or star beings who are described as visitors from the stars or other dimensions. These beings are often depicted as interacting with humans, sometimes offering knowledge or guidance. These encounters share similarities with UAP encounters. Among the Navajo, the legend of the Skinwalkers, or Yinaoglushi, translates to he who walks on all fours. Skinwalkers are said to be witches or sorcerers who can transform into possess or disguise themselves as animals. Encounters with skinwalkers often involve feelings of dread, loss of time, and confusion, elements that can also be found in contemporary abduction narratives. 
There are literally thousands and thousands of reports and cases showing a pattern of behavior that is quite mysterious. And sometimes quite sinister. Perhaps all of it is sinister. Recall what Alistair Crowley said about his spirit guides, which he made a rendering of. And mind you, this is before the Roswell hysteria. Today, we call them angels and demons. Tomorrow, we will call them something else. Here's a photo of his spirit guide, and next to it is an actual picture of a C-5 supposed alien captured by Stephen Greer during his group meditation session. Though a bit subjective in appearance, it's still quite interesting, wouldn't you say?